Ruhuha sector is located in Bugesera district, eastern province on 42 kilometers from Kigali, Rwandan capital city. Its elevation is 1300, latitude 2 degrees 19 minutes 39 seconds with 54 kilometers square. Population of Ruhuha is 19,606 and household 4,279. The Huha sector has five cells and 35 villages with one health center and 140 community health workers. Ruhuha sector is bordering with the Republic of Burundi. Rwanda's Malaria Strategic Plan 2013-2018 targets to achieve malaria pre-elimination levels of transmission by 2018. In collaboration with Rwanda Ministry of Health, the Netherlands Organization for Scientific Research WATRO, Science for Global Development provided financial support for a four-year research program entitled Empowering the Community Towards Malaria Elimination in Ruhuha Sector. How can a community contribute to the malaria control program towards its elimination? Nitwa Furaha Anatolia, ndo mujyana mu buzima, ntuye muri uyu murenge wa Ruhuha, akagari ka Gikunda mvura mu tugudu wa Kiyovu. Ni nambere tubashishikariza kurara mu nzitirami w'ikoranya umuti. Ikindi tubashishikariza gukuraho ibidendezi bihuru bikikije ngo gukinga amadirisha hakiri kare kandi tukabashishikariza no kuba uramutse agaragaje ibimenyetso bya malaria agomba guhitayitira kujya kwa muganga kugira ngo abashe kumuvura imboga mezi tukunda guhura nazo yo dushishikariza abaturage kuryama mu nziteramibu akeshi bakunda kutugaragariza indwara y'ibiheri ko hari udusimba twateye twibiheri kwavuga ko iyo baryamye mu nziteramibu twa dusimba tubasha kugaragaramo ubwo rero ku ngamba twafashe dufite ingamba zo kugenda urugo ku rugo dukora umuganda mu mago tubashishikariza uburyo bwo kuri ubwo kugwanya ibyo biheri ubu ku kigero tugezeho tugereranije n'abaturage bacu uburyo babyitabira n'uburyo kandi natwe tudahema gukorana nabo usanga nibura abarara mu nzetiramibu bageze kuri 198 ku ijana muri uyu murenge wa Ruhuha urebye malaria kwihagaza ubungo ntabwo navuga ko bikanganye ariko ugereranyije n'ingamba zafashwe n'ubuyobozi muri no minsi ishize biragaragara ko yagabanutse dushingiye kuri raporo tubana zituruka ku kigondera buzima Mobilization Malaria Endemic Community to Adopt Integrated Malaria Interventions based on a variable research data toward malaria elimination to contribute to run the strategy of achieving malaria pre-elimination by connecting social mobilization to national malaria control program and local available data. <laughs> nitwa Dr Steven Julisa nkaba ndu muganga ni mushakashatsi muri Universite y'u Rwanda mu ishami ry'ubuvuzi yatangiye nyuma y'imyaka igera kuri 5 twari tumaze dukora ubushakashatsi kuri malaria mu murenge wa Ruhuha hanyuma tuza kubona yuko hari malaria nyinshi iri mu baturage kandi noneho itazana ibimenyetso bya malaria bisanzwe no kuvuga abantu bageneraga malaria ntibazaga kwivuza kuko nta bimenyetso bari bafite I am a little bit of 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 a little no no habari bo baba nka motel yo kurandura malaria hayima twebwe tube abo kuba hagusa 
nkifasha nyigisha no ariko nabuga cyangwa kubigisha gusa ibindi akaba ari bo babyikorera akaba ari bo bajyana uyu mushinga bakirandura malaria mu ngo zabo no mu miryango yabo niyo yari ide twari dufite kuko ibitera malaria twari tumaze kubibigisha tubona babizi ubwo rero cyari gisigaye ko ari ukubigisha uburyo bashobora kwirandurira malaria nibwo buryo bwonyine twabonaga bushoboka project uh, we try to achieve malaria elimination within the Ruhua uh, district by combining four different uh, blocks of expertise and really together with the community participation approach as well. I think that combination of those five blocks um, will help the national policy in achieving malaria elimination. PhD research projects based on there's a, a component of uh, biomedical science just addressing uh, the issues of uh, resistance or anemia related to malaria and other issues or also treatment. Uh, so there is another component on behavior science addressing the issues of the behavior of the population, the community, how did they change their mind just to eliminate malaria. The third one is uh, addressing the issues of mosquitoes, is the, uh, is the entomological component. Uh, and just to know the behavior of those mosquitoes and uh, in order to achieve this goal. And the last one is addressing the issues of finance and economic, trying to combine with this in health system. So uh, those four, we thought that those four uh, building blocks can work together and then to achieve the, uh, the target that we are looking for. And as was already earlier mentioned, there were these four building blocks and there's four uh, PhD students involved in this program, four PhDs from Rwanda. Um, they have received their some training in the Netherlands, either in uh, medicine or in uh, entomology or health uh, economics. And we find, all of us find this very important that uh, there's the local capacity is is improved and that these uh, four PhDs uh, are now using that knowledge and implementing their knowledge and expertise here in Rwanda and thus can contribute uh, towards our shared goal of malaria elimination. We have also a scientific component of this where we are going, the project will provide evidence through uh, specific research under the different blocks of uh, this project so that we will provide answers to some problems that the national malaria program is facing uh, in the strategies to have malaria elimination. As part of capacity building, four Rwandan PhD students enrolled at four different Dutch universities for pursuing PhD studies in the field of behavior sciences, biomedical sciences, medical entomology, and health economics. PhD students work on their projects in an integrated manner. Uh, the key uh, role of uh, my component is about facilitating the entire program, looking at uh, different group dynamics, looking at how the community can be engaged, how they can be committed towards eliminating malaria in their sector of Ruhuha. And to do so, we have had several uh, sessions with the community. The first session with the community we had was in 2010 and 2011, where we had invited different community representatives here in Ruhuha and we get together to discuss about how malaria can be eliminated, but first of all, if this is possible. And we have seen that it can be possible to be eliminated, and uh, the community uh, in the discussion also uh, had proposed something that we can do. The, one, the first one was about uh, how we can have the active diagnosis of malaria in the whole sector, and also to treat those who are found to be positive. And therefore we have also had the household survey in which we have uh, had almost all the household in Iruhuha and we have had several questions 
but also we tested for malaria and those who were found positive were treated. Um, this program is mainly based on eliminating malaria. So malaria is an infection and, the public, and uh, in terms of my interest from the biomedical aspect is understanding the disease in this population, understanding who has the problem. For example, is it men, is it women, is it children, is it fishermen, is it rice growing communities, who has the problem? Um, number two, it is to understand what are the risk factors that are causing this problem in this community. If we find that, for example, men are more at risk, is it the men who actually grow rice who are more at risk? Uh, then I also want to understand this problem, where is it distributed? There are 35 villages in this community and about five cells. We would like to know is the problem more common in one cell compared to another? And if so, what are the reasons, what are the environmental reasons that are associated with uh, this problem being more common in that particular village. And lastly, I would like to find interventions uh, that can lead to a reduction in malaria transmission in these communities. Uh, previously, we have mainly focused on malaria cases, people who are sick at the health center. But as our goal is to eliminate malaria, the focus has to shift to people who are infected, those who may not have clinical symptoms. Because we need to treat these people or we need to reduce their infectivity so that even if there are mosquitoes out there, when they bite them, the mosquitoes don't get infected and therefore malaria is not transmitted. So my contribution is basically to understand disease burden, uh, to find ways or interventions for that matter that can actually lead to a reduction in transmission and therefore an elimination of, them, of malaria in this particular community. And also to know how many uh, infected uh, mosquitoes biting a human by mouth or by ear. And also uh, to understand if there is any pattern of resistance of mosquitoes to insecticide we are using for vector control. And after, it's so to know uh, where uh, mosquitoes are breeding. Mosquitoes are breeding at peridomestic area or are breeding uh, in marshlands. And after, to know uh, what is the density of mosquito larvae in marshland or how is uh, the density of mosquito larvae uh, in peridomestic areas. Those are the key parameters uh, to understand very well the dynamic of uh, malaria vectors and also behavior of uh, mosquitoes. The second component was to understand the uh, environmental parameters, uh, such as the seasonality of transmission of malaria and also the topography. Uh, there is uh, probably any relationship between uh, malaria vectors with the water bodies, uh, with the uh, hydrology, uh, housing, uh, prevention measures. Those are the key questions we had to understand in order to empower community towards malaria elimination. You can't uh, uh, eliminate uh, any disease without knowing the uh, key parameters of uh, transmission of uh, that disease. For the rice farming, as you may be aware, it has positive and negative impact. The positive one is the economic private benefit of rice farmers from this uh, rice farming and the negative one is the malaria risk not only for them but for the entire community and in my uh, project i need to to think about some innovative mechanism that could be used in order to utilize benefit from those rice farmers to mitigate the risk caused by their practice. A memorandum of understanding between Academic Medical Center Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and the Rwanda Ministry of Health was signed in September 2012. Uh, this uh, project was uh, selected from a number of projects that we received based on a, a, a quality ranking. And this project was selected because it 
um, uh, the program committee who does the selection uh, was was very uh, enthusiastic about the approach uh, for for real el elimination of malaria because it's a step further than than a lot of malaria programs uh, usually have, and because of the approach with involving the community uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, having a, a bottom-up approach to to go to those last steps of uh, malaria elimination. Knowledge Translation Network is a three-year water-funded project which is supporting the eight coalition partners that are funded by WATRO and these partners are spread across Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, right now the Knowledge Translation Network is working with MEPRA so that they can translate uh, the research findings from the Malaria Elimination Project into policy and practice. And, uh, one, what, what we did with this dissemination is to support them with the dis first dissemination of their research findings. Yeah, so that's what the Knowledge Translation Network is doing. We are here to work with them so that their research findings get out to the community, to the policy makers, as well as other relevant stakeholders. Yeah. Establishment of Community Malaria Action Team involving a village leader. <laughs> tubigisha uburyo bwose bushoboka bwo kuba twayirandura dukoresheje uburyo bwose bushoboka twakira abatera umuti mu mazu tubigisha uburyo bashobora gukuraho ibihuru bidukikije gusa ibi bintu go bireka mu amazi nibindi bintu byose byatuma umubororoka a community health worker and youth representative per village are being set up. If you are to one of Mamuri Muru Mushinga, no co, Riminari, Abatura, Jabariba, Jabafite, Immunvira, Iriha, Sibada, Sobanuchi, Maria, Nezanes, Chimichiesana, Ariko Uyu, Mushinga, Kuba, Waman, Tukazam, Watura, Jay, Hari, Immunvira, Rimidia, and Zamok. Mushinga, young over under the Maria, Tawa, Chilianesa, Kokodin, Wasanga, Harihoni, no name for Nineza Kuvana, Tokenshi. These members will work very closely with the community at large through existing structures, will provide feedback to both communities and research team. In uh, we started with, um, with a, a meaningful conversation with the community, uh, with representatives from the community, and just asking questions on how can we do this together. And we've been doing that a couple of times. And we strongly believe that if we have meaningful conversations with people, with everybody involved on all levels in community, politics, etc., that people become, um, they take ownership because their opinion matters and everybody's opinion matters and when your opinion matters you can attach your heart to it yeah. as well yeah. and you feel noticed in a community and, and that is a very important issue in this project that we are not people that know all the answers and we're not coming from the Netherlands to solve the problem. We don't know how to solve the problem alone. Uh, we really need everybody to collaborate. So we are here, all here as human beings that want to make a better world. And in this case, it's a better world without malaria yeah. in Rwanda, yeah. with the Ruwa community. Yeah.